Welcome back to Nighttime. Arlene Pakulin and the Nighttime Band. You know, everybody wants to find their personal style. We always hear about all these celebrities and these people who walk around and they look so good and they, they flow so well. Sometimes there's a lot of real important people behind them to help them find that. There are the unique few like Arlene Pakulin, who have a natural style which just carries themselves. But many of us need help. My next two guests have been in business for about three years, and they have a company uh, that basically helps you find your style. Carcia and Telly are my next guests. Ladies, welcome. Beautiful ladies. Thank you for having us. It's wonderful. You know, everybody wants to have a style. Uh, they want to look a certain way. Either they wear designer clothes, or they can't afford designer clothes, and it's the way that they use the clothes that they have to make them look good. Right. Your business is right in vogue right now. I'll start with you, um, Karsha. It, it is a time now that people economically can get help to find their personal style. Oh yes, most definitely. Um, right now, people are really realizing that everybody r truly does have personal style. And sometimes it just takes a bit of direction to find it, to see what works best mm -hmm. with what you wear on a day-to-day -day basis. And what we do is with our company, Stella and Vic Personal Styling, we help people find that. So. It's a fun time to really experiment with fashion. And as you said, because of the economy right now, mm -hmm. people are able to look fabulous even on a budget. That's so. right. Mm -hmm. Telly, tell I'll go to you. What is the biggest mistake that people make in style, uh, personal style? The biggest mistake is understanding your body type. Um, you know, you see your favorite celebrity wearing something. You figure, okay, well, they look great in that bodycon dress or they look awesome in that billowy skirt. I'm going to do the same thing. And then you're disappointed when you see Angelina Jolie looking fabulous and you look in the mirror and you don't really <laughs> look the same. So I think that's probably one of the biggest mistakes. Um, you have to really understand your body and don't be afraid to try things. You know, nothing is wrong with trying on the billowy and the very fitted, but be open and don't be disappointed if something doesn't look how you would have liked it to have looked mm. on you, be open and, you know, don't be so hard on yourself just because your body type is different from somebody else's. Everyone has a different body type and because of that, fashion is for everyone. So you can find your personal style through anything. And more and more now, guys are coming to the fore. Before it yes. used to be just women mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. who really were concerned with that. Now guys are coming to the fore mm -hmm. and not afraid to be a little more bold in their colors and all the Definitely. rest of that. There, there, yeah. there is one thing I wanted to ask you. It, it, so many people, women in particular before, they got their colors done. <laughs> oh, I can't wear that because I'm told it's not my color. Is that a fallacy or the truth? Personally, I think it's a fallacy because I think if you can wear a color nicely and add to it, it can always work. But everybody's Definitely. very much, or a lot of people, I should say, are very much focused on their colors. Does that still have merit in today's fashion world? It, it does. I mean, there, there's always going to be a place for complementary colors for a person, but it's all about how you wear it. You know, if blue isn't your color, that doesn't mean you shouldn't wear it just means maybe you shouldn't wear a blue top and a right. blue pair of pants. It could be an accent mm -hmm. as yes. opposed to a whole blue outfit. Right, so you could do like a blue clutch or mm -hmm. something or yeah. a blue tie. Accents, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now that's one of the things too. Uh, accents now, you, you talk about accessories are so important. It used to be that the, the purse was the, uh, the accessory for women, but now it's a bunch of things. We've mm -hmm. really escalated into being able to add little touches that make an outfit click. What are some of those things that are coming up in 2015 that we should keep an eye out for? Shoes. <laughs> Shoes are Shoes. so important. Yeah. Uh, the great thing with shoes is, is that they are never, you know, your feet don't really change size. No. So you're able to Just wear... Just your nose and your ears <laughs> continue. Nose Did you know ears. that? What a horrible fact. As <laughs> you get older, everything grows. Your nose and your ears grows. And in men, we have ear hair and nose hair. I don't know why that came. <laughs> so anyways, back to shoes. I'm a big shoe fan. Yes. <laughs> so shoes are great because yeah. you can literally wear the same pair for 10, 15 years, depending on how trendy they are. Mm. Another thing that was in this season and it's also going to go into next season, oh. I think, is the necklace. Statement pieces Definitely. like bracelets. Right. These things, they kind of make even really basic outfits like a white t-shirt and jeans. It really makes it pop when you're wearing the right necklace. Mm -hmm. So how do you deal with uh, people in, well, particularly in, in the black community that mm -hmm. wear the hats and the baggy pants and can we finally get rid of that? please? I, <laughs> no, it's kind of like, there's so much more. I mean, look at you right. ladies, you know, dressed to kill. Oh, Every you. so often Thanks. you see folks that walk around, it's the baggy pants, the shoes, the hat. Enough for, enough already. Can we, can we get away from that now? I, that's probably a no. 
Well, you know what? No, actually, you know, it, I think it's a matter of coming out of their comfort zone. Lots of people are comfortable right. with, you know, the clothes they wear and they're yeah. afraid to, you know, maybe try on a little bit of a more fitted pant, maybe pull it up a notch, you know, yeah, put yeah. on a nice shirt. It's comfortability. And I think that's why lots of people... Comfortability? Yeah. Sometimes people yeah. like to There's say, a marketing word for I know, you. right? <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, that's right. Comfortability. Yeah. I think it's a matter of people just coming out of their shell and right. not being afraid to just try new things. And one yes. of the things is you don't have to have a lot of money to be stylish. It's actually no. interesting. You can take clothes that you've had before, but it's a way that you combine them with things. Yes. And what you add, again, the accessories. Because, right. you know, nowadays a lot of people are much more budgetary conscious mm -hmm. when it comes to fashion. What are some of the things that you see coming uh, to the fore other than shoes? I know we talked about shoes. Is there something else that's going to come in 2015 that we should keep an eye out for? I think right now what I'm noticing, especially this season, I don't know if it's because of the holidays, mm -hmm. but I'm kind of wearing an example of it, is oh, yeah. the statement skirt. Mm -hmm. yeah. skirts, are get, skirts are getting very interesting now. Kind of used to be something... Loud and bold. Yeah, loud and, yeah. Loud yeah. and bold, colorful, different shapes. You mm -hmm. have, you know, the very tapered pencil skirt that, say, like, mm -hmm. what Kim Kardashian would wear. Then you have the billowy lady-like yes, type skirts, yeah, with yeah. the 50s retro style You know, it. for a little while, office wear, they, they, uh, they have in Mississauga, the former Madam Mayor Hazel McCallion had mm. uh, casual Fridays where you have to wear jeans, and there's certain offices that if they wear jeans and uh, mm. the uh, Mississauga uh, folks from business community come there and spot them, they get free pizza because you're supposed to dress casual. Mm. Um, I, I see more of a trend now of men going back to suit and ties, mm -hmm. uh, more to classic wear and women having a lot more classic dress but now it's 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 those uh, those lululemon type <laughs> things with the sweater tied. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, where are we going with yeah. this? <laughs> yes. Um, the Lululemon <laughs> bum now is like, that's yeah. the, you know. That's what yes. every woman wants now. They yeah. want the Lululemon. I heard actually that's more alluring to than men Victoria's than Secret. wearing Victoria's Secret lingerie. Like men yeah. love to see women in Lululemon. Lemon, you know, inspired. Well, it depends on a traditional guy. So of it, I guess it depends on the guy, of course. That's true. But um, there's, again, it comes down to comfort. People are yeah. trying to find that balance between being really comfortable but also looking chic. So, so. we're talking to Carcia and Terry. Uh, these two ladies are our personal stylists and will help you find your style. So if someone says, I got to find my style, how do they get in contact with you and what kind of a service could you offer them within any economic range that everybody mm -hmm. can afford? Mm -hmm. Well, the great thing uh, with our service, we are called Stella and Vic. Dot com if you want to find us online. Absolutely. And we do personal styling, so we will help people one of the most economical services we offer is is we will come to your home, mm -hmm. check out your closet, and do somewhat of an audit, do a review, shop your closet, create some great looks with the stuff you already have. Mm -hmm. Please trash that furry pink <laughs> vest. The furry pink vest has got to go. Yeah. You yeah. must find yeah. you must find some horrendous things in there. That's and I bet you surprise them too by some stuff you pull out of the closet and you say, why have you never worn that? Do you know you could do that? That must be quite the revelation for someone. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I mean, some people have the brown suits from the 1970s that don't even button anymore. And Why are you keeping yeah. it? Yeah. Why, people, is this, why are you keeping it? Carcia and Kelly, quick shameless plug. Give us your, your website and how folks can get in touch with you. Sure. Mm. So it's StellaAndVic.com. And you can find us at our blog, our fashion blog, which mm -hmm. we put a lot of tips on how to be amazingly fashionable yep. it is it's musicfashionlife.com mm -hmm. and we also are on twitter uh at, at her, her underscore castle are you guys twins now <laughs> no <laughs> quickly we only got about 10 hang out too much <laughs> so um find us on twitter and um through twitter you can find us on instagram as well perfect i i thank you both for coming here and thank good you. luck if you need to help find your style uh, coming up so we've got the jammers waffle house you talk about a boy band these guys are cool lots more in lifetime right after this